they ask this question, who is the greatest? And then look at verse 5. Jesus says, uh, whoever receives one such child in my name receives me. So what he does is he pulls a child up in front of them, and he says, so it, you know, like social hierarchy, right? A child can't vote, <laughs> right? They have no influence. They're completely dependent on other people. They don't fit in the conversation of the greatest as far as they would, they would consider. So there's that teaching, which I've heard that before, right? Where Jesus says, well, unless you become humble like this child. But you notice what he says, unless you change and become like this child. Unless you turn in the ESV and become like this child. Change from what? Change from what to what? Well, change from wherever you are to have a heart of this child. Well, where are you? Well, you're at a place where you're asking Jesus the path to be the greatest. You're completely missing the point of the kingdom of heaven if you're worried about where do I fit in this hierarchy of of power. So unless you change your mindset, unless you turn, unless you change and become like this little child and look at the world through the lens of this little child, you will miss out on what it means to live in the kingdom of heaven. And then he continues and he starts to tell a story about a lost sheep. Now keep in mind, he's talking about in your kingdom. We would say in your church. Those who are your people living out your values. Who is the greatest, they said. And Jesus says, unless you have a mindset of this child, a heart posture of this child, and then let's look at how a child would look at these things. Let's say there's nine, there's a hundred sheep and one goes astray because the one that is astray is vulnerable. The one that's astray is lost. She knows I'll protect him, but this one, I can't protect him if he's not with me. His siblings can't protect him if he's not with them. He's vulnerable. Right? So if, unless we change our paradigm from thinking and worrying about the hierarchy to worrying about the vulnerable, because that word greatest, when he says, who is the greatest, I believe Jesus kind of flips or twists, turns, maybe turns the meaning of the word greatest. When they says greatest, that like we would think of the greatest, Muhammad Ali, I am the greatest, Michael Jordan, no debate, go. Because I have the microphone. No, right? Who is the greatest? We think of that. But that word great could also mean what's the most important? What's the priority? Who's the thing that we should focus on? What's, who's the one we should focus on? And Jesus says, the heart of a child has it right. In the kingdom, we, the 99, focus on the lost. 